there you are. Come, 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 come. Okay, Evan Crowhurst, MB Bachelor of Surgery, graduated from Nottingham University with a 2-2. Tom. No, 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 you've got to leave him this, okay? Chloe has a little secret squeeze that she's not been telling anyone about. He specialised in general surgery, currently practising at Cable Cross. But, I mean, come on, look at the picture. I mean, do you not think a miracle doctor is punching way below her weight? What's up with you? Territory, but you hardly treated me abominably. And you rusted. You needed some space. I got it. Then why are you here? I was concerned for you. I wanted to make sure you were okay. Happy. And if you weren't, to ask you to come back to Cable Cross your position there hasn't been filled don't have you back in the heartbeat as would I hello I'm sorry to interrupt again um, Mr Davis's results have come back and there's been some other news So what exactly are we looking for? Clues, hints. An indication as to who might have done this and why. And you think this is connected to the Holly Cartwright protest? Given the nature of the threats and the text to Theo's phone, yes, I do. I made a speech. I heard. You made quite the impression. If it is one of the protesters, then somewhere on one of these monitors is the person or persons who took Theo. It's a needle in a haystack. It's something to do, Fletch. Stop. Uh, can you rewind it? Can you zoom in? Him. Why this man in particular? Because I had a run in with him earlier. He was banging on the bonnet of my car and I told him where to go. The police took him in for questioning after he assaulted Miss Goddard. Why would he target you? Because he saw me with Theo. He knows I've got a son. Can we pick him up anywhere else on this? There, look. See, they've got to be working together. So if we find him, then we find Theo. OK, do a screen grab of this, please, and circulate it to all the staff. Maybe someone will recognise the second man. Mrs Duval. So you're Donna. Yes, that's right. Um, Xavier has asked me to take a look at your hand. He's supposed to be looking after it himself. He's been called away to theatre. Yes. I can find you a doctor if you like, but I can assure you I'm capable of just... Oh, of course. It's fine. I'm sorry about before. I didn't mean to be so rude. I had no rights. Why don't we start again? Mrs Duval, I am Donna Jackson, and it is a pleasure to find you with you. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, that was really stupid. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Just please be gentle. I will, of course. Sorry. That's better. So, 
what you're saying is you're intimidated. Uh, no, I didn't say that. All I said was Darwin seems a very female orientated wolf these days. And that's a bad thing? Hey, I make no value judgment, just empirical observation. Ah, OK, well, observe this. Hey. to keep his affairs at arm's length from his family. I have two children. Mia is 13 and Amber is four. Mia's adopted? Yes. You're very brave. Adopting all those years ago and then having a natural child so late in life. It, it wasn't that late in life. It's good for Xavier to be exposed to children. I'm not sure he'd agree. Invaluable experience for when he settles down to have his own. <laughs> he and I have not had that discussion, but why would you have? What happened exactly? I shut it in a drawer. Why? Well, there's no contusions or obvious trauma. Not that would explain the pain anyway. Maybe the damage is on the inside. You can't see it. I'll uh, bandage it to give it some support. What are those security guards looking for? Oh, a, uh, a child's gone missing. How awful. There's nothing worse in this life than a parent losing a child. No. I guess not. Are you a bit of a dark horse? Mm -hmm. Keeping Evan quiet. What did he want? He wants me to come back. And to him. Well, hold up. I thought he is your boyfriend. He was. Sort of. And then he wasn't. Sort of. And now he wants to be again. Sort of. No, he's pretty definite about it. Oh, OK, I get it. So you're the problem. By which I mean, what is the problem? Me. <laughs> I like him. I really do. I think he gets me. I'm just I'm not sure I'm ready. going back to Cable Cross will be a horrendous, terrible idea. Why is that? Because we're a little family here. Slightly bonkers, massively dysfunctional one, but a family nonetheless. And you're like the annoying, ever so slightly better at everything than anyone else cousin. And then, you know, every family needs one of those. 